day had come, the time was right for the most popular, important social function. The Critter's Tea Party at Mongoose Junction. Eight elegant mongooses were out on the town. Everyone knows that a mongoose is brown, but Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. She was all decked out, so nifty and neat. Her pink gingham pinafore, looking quite chic. She strutted her stuff and she put on the dog. Her hair permed and curled and all puffed up on top. A hat with a flower, her lips painted red. In a get-up like this, she would knock her friends dead. Her tiny-toed shoes were all shiny and black, with the heels just a little high up in the back. Her lavender pocketbook added such charm that hung ever so daintily over one arm. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. Her friends strolled down the road. They chatted and chattered. They gossiped and giggled about nothing that mattered. The mongooses wanted to get there on time, but Marguerite Mongoose was last in the line. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. All of a sudden, there came rushing, roaring, waving, weaving, screeching, soaring, a shiny, sleek, spiffy, black, sporty sedan, with a sleazy, gruff, ugly, mean, yucky, bad man. He huffed, he puffed on a smelly cigar, as he cruised down the road in his sleek motor car. He rolled down the window and flicked it right out on a grassy green hillside with goats hanging out. In a quick tiny minute, that smelly cigar started smoking, sparking. He had thrown it too far. That spark grew, it blew, it touched one blade of grass. That spark blew and it blew and it blew very fast. Big, huge flames lighted the sky. At that very moment, Marguerite, passing by, saw black smoke, orange flames, gold like the sun. Run, shouted Marguerite. Run fast, goats, run. There were goats running here. There were goats running there. Goats frantic, goats panicked, frightened goats everywhere. Run, shouted Marguerite. Run fast, goats, run. Run, shouted Marguerite. Run fast, goats, run. By the side of the road, her friends stood in a line, waving, shouting to cars passing by. Please stop, please help us, please call a fire truck. The goats on the hillside, they're fenced in, they're stuck. But motorists didn't notice. Cars just passed them by. The scared little mongooses started to cry. They were shouting, shrieking, jumping about. But their ordinary color just didn't stand out. But Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. Marguerite Mongoose was a sight to be seen. Marguerite Mongoose was emerald green. She marched onto that road, strutted into the middle, and ordered all cars to slow down. Just
just a little. Her lavender handbag was held high in the sky as she raised up one arm to stop cars passing by. Her emerald green coat gleamed, glittered, and glistened. She made those cars stop. She made everyone listen. Those motorists stopped. They had just never seen a pink gingham dress on a mongoose that's green. We've a problem, she shouted. Help us at once. Call the police. Call the fire truck. There's a fire on the hill. It will rage. It will grow. We must put it out. We must rescue the goats. In no time at all, two fire trucks arrived. The fire was put out. The goats survived. Marguerite Mongoose was as proud as could be. She saved the goats. She set them free. Her friends clapped. They cheered. Goats danced in a ring. Everyone was amazed at the mongoose that's green, who's honored each year at a special function as the bravest mongoose in Mongoose.